Hello dear friends, this video is about uh, blues. Oh, oh, sorry, the camera is not very, very well set up. Now I'm setting it up. And the other day I have done one drawing with blue colors. So here is the drawing. Not this one, 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 not this one. Not this one, not this one, not this one. And of course not, of course not. Not this one, not this one. Uh, yes, but this one, yes. So <clears throat> this one is done with the most common uh, blue pens that uh, you can find in in any art supply shop or stationery shop so so here is the detail of these pens let's go one by one and uh, not this one oh look at this one not this one okay i have not yet planned anything so i will just do some random stuff here so this one is, and uh, I have pens of different, oh, this is 0 0.7, 0 0.7, I have one, which is much wider. This one is a G2 gel pen, 0 0.7, it's relatively thin, and for the large outline, and it's a quite pure blue. And this one is, I think it's a ballpoint pen, pilot, no? No, looks also like gel pen. This is also a gel pen and the color is a little bit darker dark let's compare and with this g2 pen g2 they are almost very very much and identical actually and um, I need to find 1.0 of this one. Excuse me, wait for me one minute. Okay, I got it here. So this one is 1.0, 1.0. It's much wider and very much easier to do the outline. Actually, it also depends on the paper. And this paper is not very, very, um, it's very smooth. It does not absorb a lot of color. So it gives a very crisp line. So this is the outline and then you can do one step more detail with this one and uh, <clears throat> so G2. G2 is one of the least expensive one and the relatively good quality and uh, if you work in, in any workplace they, they, you, you, you can find your 
um, I think any workplace, some professional pens or some better than the the cheapest quality pens, you can you can have it. Most of the workplace, your boss can afford buying this. And I always like uh, larger or thick pens. But just today, I start to find that uh, sometimes a thinner pen is also good. I mean, this is not pencil, this is pen, pen, pen. Okay, this one is a gel pen. If you like to see inside, nothing fancy, any gel pen, nothing fancy. And um, <coughs> this is G2, this one is another brand, so they are not interchangeable. You buy one, you have to buy the stick. I don't think they are interchangeable. Let me just take, give it a try. It doesn't hurt to try, right? Yeah, actually it is interchangeable. No, it seems it is interchangeable. Yes, it is. You can change it with another. Oh, they are both pilot. What happened here? Pilot knock or pilot G2, G knock. I don't know the difference, but uh, you can change. Oh, oh, I got lost, lost my track. And um, so this is this one. And then another friend asked about another one. Now we take a look at the other one. This one I bought any shop, any shop, literally, in in the grocery shopping, in anywhere you can find. And this one, I think we bought in office uh, uh, staple, staple. And uh, we bought 10 or 8 or 12 at one time. So you can see it's a lighter color. And this one is 1.8, I think it's a really very wide but in this paper it does not show that much pretty nice color this is a ballpoint pen and this one I think this one might be this is big might be from um, uh, office depot or some other place but it's roughly the same thing but this one is a little tiny bit thinner this one is a little tiny bit wider. And uh, which one I didn't show? This one. This one is Arundel Trio. And this one is, um, you can change the inside. Looks quite decent one. And a blue color. It's much more, very much like the gel pen, but a different color. And very easy to use. I enjoy it very much, actually. When you have a good pen, you like to draw, to write, right? And you make your writing so neat. Because the pen is good. Leo, Mama, in the video, you wait a minute. And, uh, and uh, this one is ballpoint pen, a very inexpensive ballpoint pen, easy to use. And uh, now I think we are getting through all of them. This one is Foray. I think we got it from um, Office um, Office Depot. Office Depot. Oh, oh, cannot take it out. This is as much as you can open it up, I think. Yeah, just like this. And they sell it. Um, there are many uh, on the shelf, you can try it.
also quite easy to use with 12 or even more color you can buy one individual or buy some the set can you see it it's not sorry it's not uh, bright enough right Quite easy to use. And the, 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 the ink comes out constantly, never run out before it is run out. And this one is from Japanese shop. What I forgot the name of the shop. But it's a quite a, a decent one, 0 0.4. I do not like it. I, I did not like it at the beginning because it's too thin. And now I start to like it because it's, it makes this, makes your writing very neat. Although my writing is not neat at all. From Japanese shop, um, Wuyin Liangpin. What is the name? Wuyin Liangpin. And very easy to use. Beautiful. Okay. So these are all the pens for drawing that it is good to have different uh, tones of blue they are all blue but with different uh, a teeny tiny bit uh, different uh, difference in blues and uh, it just make your drawing more interesting and more fun and uh, let you enjoy it more and with a pair of blue glasses just um, And uh, another thing is, uh, uh, they are all not important. The important thing is that you enjoy it. You pay attention to the thing you do and you make it uh, uh, carefully and, uh, and, uh, and dedicate uh, and uh, delicately doing a piece of drawing. It will all turn out to be good. Thank you very much. I think this explains about the pen and you can find all these pens in a very, uh, very easy to find all of them. And, uh, hope this helps. Thank you very much. See you later. Uh, Isn't it pretty to sit here? Oh, the white flower.